Now that's a picture of a spider bite. When it comes to the jail, spider bites are quite common. What it was, was a spider that would come out and forage for food at night while we were asleep. You might wake up the next day with a little pinprick on your skin and you might not think too much about it. But the following days, the pus would start to come out and the skin, it would like slough away and it would eat into the flesh and cause what's called a volcano lesion. Now there were guys in the jail who had been in shootouts and these spiders were putting bigger holes in people's bodies than bullet wounds, as you can see from this picture. Now, obviously these guys needed medical treatment when they'd been bitten. And we'd go to the guards and say, look, he needs to get to medical, he needs to see a doctor, and we'd fill the forms out. And the guards would always say the same thing. It's the policy of the jail not to treat insect bites. You put yourself in here, you deal with it. So we did try to deal with it. We collected little salt packets that came with the evening meal, the mystery meat slot, the prisoners call Red Death. And we'd designate somebody as a doctor. On one occasion, the guy we designated as a doctor, he was a Russian guy who'd been in the military and said he knew how to dress wounds. Now, the guy who'd been bitten was a 25-stone Mexican-American who'd been bitten on his back. And it looked like a baseball of yellow plasma was trying to erupt through, come out through the back of his back. So what we did was we had big guys arm lock him on either side and the Russian guy he basically just squeezed the pus out and it's all this pus is running down this guy's back and swabbed it up with toilet paper and the big guy he's he's almost passing out I mean sweat stripping off his ears, his chin he's dragging all the guys with him and they're yelling you know we need more guys to hold him and then at the end of it, the Russian guy just put salt on the wound to try and reduce the bacteria. But that was the best we could do for the guys who had been bitten by the spider.